Hey guys, how's it going? This is Captain Roscoe. Today I'll be showing you how to put ice cream sandwich on your Samsung Vibrant or Samsung Galaxy S. They are pretty similar and pretty close to the same uh, procedure. So I'm just going to go ahead and go and jump into my about phone and show you that I have Odin my phone back to its original stock state. So you can see I'm on JFD, baseband, and I'm on the Eclair build. So let's just go ahead and I'm going to show you how to root it real quick. Um, this is from stock to ice cream sandwich, so I'll just go through some stuff. So you're going to want to go ahead and replace your update zip after you've mounted your uh, SD card. Um, I will provide a link in which you can actually uh, download the zip file. So you replace it for your update zip and then you're going to want to boot into recovery. Depending on your bootloaders, um, I have actually gingerbread bootloaders. If you're on Froyo, you're going to want to use both rockers and the power button. And then you're going to want to go ahead and let go after the first initial logo. And then it should boot you into recovery. So now you're going to want to select the section, second option. And you're going to want to go ahead and click reinstall packages. This is going to uh, apply a route to your phone, which allows you to get into more advanced options, uh, such as flashing ROMs, etc. So we're just going to let it reboot real quick. All right. And now that it's booted up, I'm just going to go ahead and let it do its normal uh, SD scan and media running. And then I'm going to go ahead to make sure that it's been rooted, jump through my app drawer to find a, uh, a special little icon that should be new. So I'm just going to head open up the phone, go to my application drawer, and I'm looking for super user permission. So there we go, it's the little ninja right there, super user permission. That means you've successfully rooted your phone. Okay, now that I've rooted my phone, I'm going to go ahead and go to the uh, market and I'm going to find the ROM manager uh, by Clockwork Recovery. This is going to open up more advanced options for your phone um, and it's essential for flashing most ROMs. Um, you can either do this method or the Odin. I'm going to choose this method just because I'm most familiar with this method. So I'm just going to go ahead and go through here. Alright, and now you're going to see a flash Clockwork Recovery at the very top. You're going to want to go ahead and click that, and then it should pop up a separate menu. Um, all right, and there we go. And now you want to click the phone that you're using, where you're using the Galaxy S Vibrant. Just go ahead and click that. And now it's going to go ahead and flash it. And the green bar at the top will indicate how long it has to go. Um, make sure you have an internet connection for this, because it does uh, use the internet to download the files needed. So it's going to go ahead and install these files for us. And there we go. Just go ahead and allow the super user uh, program to allow its access. And now it's going to be completed and we're going to just go ahead and reboot into recovery. Now I've already put the ROM zip file that I require on my phone and I suggest you do the same before you reboot it into recovery. It'll just make the process uh, a little bit more streamlined. So now that we're back into recovery, we're going to hit reinstall packages, and this is going to install the clockwork recovery mod. All right, and it's going to go ahead and reboot after it's installed. All right, cool. And now we're going to hit reinstall packages once again, and this should bring us to the clockwork recovery. Here we go. This is what your menu should look like if you successfully installed the clockwork recovery mod. Um, it might be a different color, but that all depends on the version you're using. So we're going to go ahead and format the uh, data, which should be about the third option, and we're just going to let it run through. It could, uh, the time it takes could vary from time to time, so just let it run its thing. It shouldn't take too long. Just going to go ahead and speed it up here. All right, and there we go. And now we're going to run wipe cache partition. And this should go pretty fast. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. And now we're going to go ahead and either under advanced or mountain storage, depending on the version you are using of Clockwork Recovery Mod, you're going to want to look for format data. Mine is under mountain storage, so I'm just going to scroll down to format data. Okay, go ahead and click yes. Let it do its thing. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and go back to the original uh, menu. All 
Okay. And we're going to go to install zip from SD card. And now we're going to want to choose the zip file uh, for the ROM. Uh, this is why I recommend you put the file on your internal SD card before you uh, boot into recovery. So I'm going to scroll down to the ice cream sandwich version 8. And I'm going to just go ahead and say yes, I wish to install this. Let it run its thing. This is actually going to take a little bit. Um, but once you see this little menu going, you know that you're on the right path. Um, it could take anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes, so you might want to just let it do its thing. Even if it takes longer than that, just give it the benefit of the doubt and just let it go through its thing because um, rebooting in this will have to make you start the whole process over and go through Odin, which can be extremely difficult um, and tedious. So I'm just going to let you see what happens. So I'm going to put some music behind this as I speed it up. Um, it should only run about for 30 seconds just so you can see what happens during the uh, process. All right, and now after a while, it's gonna come up through its little boot looping. Uh, remember, it could take a little while. And we're gonna come to this screen. This means that you've successfully installed the ROM. You can you know, go ahead and sign into your account if you like. I'm just gonna go ahead and scroll through some of the menus to show that you, we are actually on 4.0.3 uh, for the ice cream sandwich. Now, when you first get on a ROM, you usually don't wanna install any kind of apps. Um, or do really anything for 10 minutes and just let the uh, file settle and the partition settle, just let the entire phone just kind of uh, break itself in. And then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and reboot it. And then after the reboot, you should be safe to install any kind of uh, files that you wish to install. So I'm just gonna go ahead and scroll through the app drawer, show you that we're on ice cream, go ahead and jump to the system apps. Okay, and here's the about phone. There we are. We're at 4.03, and you can see that we're at Ash Cream version 8. Thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial helped you guys out there. Um, if you like it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. This has been Captain Roscoe.